Hi, welcome back to Stories at Work, a series where I'm speaking to leaders and asking them to share life experiences that have either shaped who they are or given them a belief about how you should go about life, both professional or personal. Today, I'll be speaking to Deepa Soman, the founder and managing director of Lumaire. I asked her what prompted her to start the company she started 22 years ago, and this is what she shared. The year was 1993. Um, my child was six months old. I was getting back from a career break, which I did. I used to work with Hindustan Lever. I start, went back to the starting work again. I come from a family where all the women work, so that was the most natural thing for me to do. And then I somewhere, you know, I kind of wouldn't feel that entirely happy, comfortable leaving the baby with the maid, but I, uh, my parents were still there at that point in time, so I wasn't sort of, you know, the idea hadn't sunk in that they would be going back. And it was when I got into, you know, this continued, maybe for a week or so I must have gone to work. Uh, yeah, and then I get into the lift and I have my upstairs neighbor upstairs, Sridhar, you know, who walked in with me. And he just said, you know, Diva, how are you able to leave the baby and come to office? And I, I remember being very offended that it was, it was almost like a, he was judging me or something. And, but what, what happened was that question made me think. And I remember that I had not even given myself permission to think about this. So I decided to, I spoke with my husband, Milan, and applied for, you know, took a career break. So uh, we, were, we were in Jamaica, and that was the place I wanted to be, always in the West Indies, because of this song that I liked so much, the Harry Belafonte, Jamaica Farewell. I know it sounds crazy, but that's literally from the time I thought it, and I went there, it was only maybe two months. And then in time, I thought I'll start working and I was doing interviews and I was, you know, those interviews were great. I mean, every time I'd finished the interview, I would literally come back thinking the appointment letter is going to probably reach home before I did. But that never happened and it happened two or three times and I started to feel seriously concerned about myself, a lot of misgivings about my capabilities and I see till then, I had never known failure in life. So for me, it was my first concept of rejection. And I, I remember one day when it was probably just got to me, it was evening, sun was setting, I was at the balcony, we were sitting and having tea and I remember just standing up like this, you know, looking at the sun and I said, you know, if I get a break and if I get this opportunity to get back to work where this break of whatever is not going to come in the way and my, I can resume my career, I promise, I vow that I'll provide an opportunity for women professionals to get back to work. And I, you know, that day is like, like it happened yesterday. And I think that's really been the foundational idea. And that continues to be the driving purpose for us at Lumiere. I mean, September, this month, we turned 22. And it's been a long journey. And I tell you, I think that's what gets me to work every day. It's what's kept me going. And each time you kind of meet someone, an alumnus, or someone who Lumiere gave an opportunity to for that period of time when they chose to work with us, we're like a crucible to hold talent. It was almost like that nurturing that they got to become the professionals they were. And I think that's really what's made me, but it was really bad failure. It was being miserable that led me to found Lumiere. So. What an inspiring story. But I'm sure she could have never had that impact if she only said, I started this company to empower women. It is when you use stories along with the point you're making that it makes it so much more impactful and memorable. And you can learn how to do this yourself. You can read my book, Stories at Work. Thank you for watching and wait for the next episode.